Molly's Love Catering is my favorite food, and I'll tell you why. She pays great attention to detail, in particular with her preparation, presentation, and taste. The preparation, she just goes above and beyond what, especially what I would do for preparing um, my kitchen. And not only that, her kitchen is a pleasant place to be. She just makes it beautiful, and it's a beautiful place to cook. It's a beautiful place to just be in and to dine in. Hi, my name is Dawn. I'm coming to talk to you about Paulie's Love Catering. And for me, I order pans of collard greens. The freshness, the crispness, the love, the care in which she puts in the food. I'm pretty busy generally um, most of the time. And to know that I can go and ask her for a plate or get a plate and it's done well and it's done healthy, I appreciate it. The owner and founder of Paulie's Love Incorporated. Thank you for tuning in. Today, it's going down. It's going down reggae style. You know, the reggae style It's going down. We're about to make some authentic jerk chicken. If anybody knows about Jamaican food, they know about reggae sunsplash. Reggae sunsplash back in the days was one of the best reggae concerts ever. We used to get on a plane just to go to reggae sunsplash. And it's nothing like going to a reggae concert than having authentic jerk chicken. The jerk chicken was amazing. And guess what, guys? I got the recipe to it. I got the recipe to some jamming jerk chicken. All right? So we're going to get started right now. I have my chicken clean, and it's in the water right now because what you do is you don't just use chicken. You can without cleaning it. You got to take off all of the all of the fat, and you got to, you got to, Clean it with lemon. If you don't have lemon um, juice, if you don't have lemon juice, you have vinegar, but you have to clean your chicken. You take off all the little fatty parts and the veins and stuff like that. And that's what makes your chicken taste better. So let's get ready to go down. All right, let's get started. So right now I'm cleaning the chicken. I clean out the bones. I take off the excess fat and I take out that vein that's in the thigh area and I pull off all of the fat and I have this chicken soaking in lemon water while I'm cleaning it. Okay, now we've cleaned this chicken. This chicken is very well cleaned. And now we're gonna start adding in all of the ingredients. So first we're gonna start with our seasoned salt. So it's coming soon, okay? We're gonna add a tablespoon of dry thyme. We're going to add some pimento seed berry. This is all spice and it flavors the chicken very well. We're going to add a half a teaspoon of black pepper. We're going to add a quarter of a teaspoon 
of a little of nutmeg. We're gonna have a quarter teaspoon of cinnamon. Yeah, that sounds a little weird, but when the flavors marry, it's on and popping. It's going down, y'all. Right now, this is ginger powder. Normally, I use fresh ginger and I grate it, but today I'm using the ginger powder just because it's easier for you guys. Okay, that was a half a teaspoon of ginger powder. Then I have here onion powder. Right? This is onion powder. And then this is very important. Normally I grated the garlic myself, but this end is garlic powder. Not garlic salt. None of this is garlic salt. It's garlic powder. And that's one tablespoon because everybody wants a, always want a nice amount of garlic in their food. This is a quarter tablespoon, a quarter teaspoon of allspice. This is the same ingredients as the berry, but we're gonna give some of the grated allspice to make sure that that flavor got down in that, that chicken, okay? All right, so it's going down. Now, this is what the Jamaicans call browning. You ever hear them called browning? And they say they see a nice look of browning, but this is the original browning. This gives the jerk chicken a beautiful brown flavor. When it's cooking, it gives it a brown, nice, savory flavor. And it's made with burnt sugar. So what they do is, if you don't have browning, you can take sugar and oil, and you can put it in a pot, and when it turns dark brown, you marinate it into your chicken. All right, I just gave y'all the recipe to make browning yourself. And what this is, is this is jerk seasoning. This, this has everything in it, and, um, it's a wet spice and it's spicy. It has everything in it, but it makes the chicken taste great. So you put a tablespoon and a half of jerk seasoning. I think I put a two tablespoons, but whatever your preference. If you're not into spicy food, then you use less, but I'm into spicy food, so it's gonna taste the authentic way. Now, this is what you call a scotch bonnet pepper. When you deal with this, you have to be very careful. You have to use gloves and you cannot allow the seeds to touch their hand because if you make a mistake and rub your eyes, you're in trouble. So this is a half of a scotch bonnet pepper, which is um, very spicy. But because I removed the seeds and I just, I'm just i just using the flesh, it is gonna give this chicken a nice extra punch of flavor without the heat, okay? Because we have the heat in everything else and the, jer the jerk seasoning have the heat, all right? So now we're gonna marinate it and you must use gloves, always use gloves. And once I marinate it, I'm gonna show you how it comes out. Put into the crevices of the chicken. You make sure you're rubbing it in and get into all of these little crevices of the chicken because you want it to have the flavor and you want them, these flavors to be into every inch of the chicken. You don't want to just halfway marinate it. You want to make sure you get under the, under the skin. You want to make sure that is brown and in every place in all of them. Okay, after this chicken 
has been seasoned, clean seasoned, and marinated for two to four hours. You place it in the fridge and you marinate it and have it sit and all the flavors begin to go through the chicken. So once we've done that, now I'm going to lay it in the pan. We don't have a grill right now, so we're gonna do this jerk chicken in the oven. So I have the oven right now preheating. It's heating to 350 degrees. So right now we're gonna lay out this jerk chicken, all right? You place the jerk chicken face down, so you're making sure that your skin is gonna be browned very nicely. So you place, place it face down. So once it's in the pan, and we have the chicken laid out in the pan, we're not gonna use any oil. What we're gonna do is, this is Paulie's love style, okay? What we're gonna do is slice little pieces of whole butter and, and allow it to bake with this. So this might not be your, your, your style, but it's my style and, it's come, and it comes out amazing, okay? So we're just gonna put that in the pan. This pan will not be covered. This pan will not be covered. What we'll do is gonna be cooked just like that in the pan, okay? All right. So we're gonna give it some time and once we put it in the oven, we're gonna put it in the oven for one hour on 350 degrees and then 15 minutes on 400 degrees once we're done, okay? Cool. Okay, we're halfway through, guys. Look at this beautiful process. Now we're gonna turn the chicken on the other side. Look at the nice color. And look at the, the juice that came right from the chicken. This juice was not, there was no water put into this. This was all seasonings, all seasonings and butter. You see? Now, this is gonna go back into the oven for about 30 minutes more. Okay? All right, so now, this is the final, and the jerk chicken is ready. The jerk chicken is ready. Look at that. Look at that, guys. Look at that color. Look at that succulence. It looks amazing. All right, so add my Pulley's Love barbecue sauce. It will be for sale soon, but right now I just make my own batch. I see you wanna balance it out. So you wanna just add a little sauce to it to balance out those spicy flavors. Wow, doesn't this look amazing? And then what we're gonna do, 